What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, what's going on? Why are you filming, filming on Monday? I thought you were going to take a break. Technically, I did, but... True be told, to, but true be told, there's actually some some plans that I have for for tomorrow and even Wednesday, so it'll be a bit tricky. So this week will be a bit tricky, but it's also going to be a bit weird as well. So I'll, I'll probably be filming a day prior to the day that, that I was going to be posting the video, including today, because unfortunately there is no Yu-Gi-Oh news to talk about. Unfortunately, so what's the next best deal? A deck profile. This deck profile is actually one that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I think for the last year and a half, couple years, I've been wanting to do this deck profile. I did make make a couple changes. I didn't make a lot of changes. Mostly to the mostly to the main, mostly to the side deck. I did a bit of a change, but this, but for the most part, it's about the same. It's about the same, but just a tad different so what's cool what's cool about the red eyes deck is that you have you have so many ways to go to go into your into your fusion plays and it just this deck basically just ensures that you're able to go into your fusion plays really quickly and if you guys do hear a bit of a background noise that's because i'm on i'm on youtube on on the laptop and i'm and i'm listening to to uh to to the um to uh, Mifa's theme from Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. So big shouts to big sh big shouts to the game. Big shouts to Mifa. I don't care. I don't care if she's a fish. She's waifu. I'm there. I said it. I don't care if she's a fish. She is waifu. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys don't mind don't mind the background noise. Big shouts to Nintendo, of course. Not sponsored. No no copyrights, of course. But let's get straight into it. And hopefully you guys do enjoy the enjoy the deck profile if you guys do and you guys want to see more in the future make sure you guys subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys follow me on twitter and on instagram the links will be in the description and if you guys have any fan mail that you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel you can send me the fan mail through the address which will be in the description as well let's get straight into it first up obviously you gotta have three red eyes black dragons if you're not running Red, if you're not running Red Eyes Black Dragon, you're not playing Red Eyes. You're, it's just, it's just, it's just facts. It's just facts. This is basically the one card that that can help you go, that can help you with your Red Eyes Fusion plays, and also with your Xyz plays as well. And even also, and even also, it can even, it can even also help you summon out cards like Triple Burst Dragon. Cards like number 28, Titanic Moth, which I'm running in, in the deck, which is just crazy. And then, of course, you got to have Dark Magician. If you're running Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, you got to have Dark Magician itself. And the one copy of Summon Skull, which I'm actually using, as always, I'm, I'm actually using the, 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 the one from the Anniversary Pack that was released in 2008, which was a hell of a uh, pack, to say the very least. I've been wanting to get, get my hands on, on that for quite some time, but I know those are stupid expensive, so. But those are all of the vanilla monsters that I have in, in the main deck. Moving on into the effect monsters, we've got the one copy of Red MD, Red Eyes Darkest Metal Dragon. This card is just absolutely nutty. If you guys don't know of its of its of its current errata, it says you can special summon this card from your hand by banishing a face of dragon you control. You can only special summon red. You can always you can only special summon red MD once per turn this way. During your main phase, you can special summon a dragon from your hand or grave. Except this card, you can only use this effect once per turn. So what? So they so they eroded. I believe the sum the way to summon it because because the original I believe had a different effect. Let me. I don't remember. I guess. I, I guess not on there. Yeah, I guess it's not. Oh, 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 man. Maybe it is. Let's see. Let's take a look. I, I, I want to see this something. Okay. 
So the original, so so the last errata said you can special summon Scarf Fang hand by hand by banishing a face of Dragon type monster. You control once per turn. You can special summon a dragon from your hand or grave except this card. That was the that that was the uh, the last errata. Um, but now, but now it just says that that you can only summon it once per turn this way, which it's not too bad. It's it's not too bad of of an effect, but but it does give you an additional body on board, especially when you're going into your fusion plays, or even in or even if you want to go into your link plays, like say Triple Burst Dragon, this card just base just just pretty much enables it, if you will, which is pretty cool. Then of course we have two copies of Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. This is a card that a lot of people had question have been questioning whether or not it was good. So this card was released. In the 2019 Gold Sarcophagus, so Gold Sarcophagus tins, part of the promo pack that that they did, where the cards were completely random, 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 so you did not know what the other what the other other cards were. All you knew was the top card, and it could be it, it could have been this, it could have been literally anything. But this card is really cool. So this is basically this is basically alternative White Dragon, but for Red Eyes. So so. So, so the effect reads: it cannot be no normal summoner set. Must first be special summon, special summon from your hand by tributing a red monster from your hand or field. You can only you can only special summon red and you can only summon red as alternative black dragon once per turn this way. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if the card or if this card in, in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target a level seven. Or lower red eyes monster in your grave, except this card, special summon, and if it was red eyes black dragon, and if it was a red eyes black dragon that was supposed to summon, its original attack becomes double. So basically, so, so what's interesting about this is that, is that it, it has the effect, the, the phrase of if this card, because if it says when this card, it, you know, is it, destroyed by about or by its, or by a card effect. It would miss. You would be. You would miss timing. So, in, so with this card, you won't be able to miss timing. Your opponent won't 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 be able to have any way to use cards like Ghost Bell to negate the effect of the alternative Black Dragon, which not too shabby, not not too shabby. But 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 it can give your opponent time to activate a card like Solemn Strike or even Solemn Warning for that matter. So that's something you, you got to be careful with. Next up, we have two copies of Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. This card is bait is the only Gemini monster in in the deck. But what's cool about this is that when it's no, is that when it's when it's normal summoned, as in no, normal summon while on the field, of course, it gains the the effect where where if damage count is performed involving this card at the end of the battle phase, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to to this card's original attack. You can only use the effect once per turn, so it's basically it's basically to your it's it's as if you have two copies of Inferno Fire Blast, where it's where it has where it has the effect. It says target one run one rise by dragon in your monster zone. If I damage your opponent equal to to the original attack of that of that rise by dragon, but the, but the funny thing is that is that with Inferno Fire Blast. The um, the the red eyes cannot attack, which is unfortunate, but still, but still, not too shabby. The, this card is basically that, but just just a tad better, which is really cool. And again, because that they have they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven star monsters off off of the effects of cards like cards like cards like Reborn, Dragon Lords, or even also Return of the Red Eyes. It basically you basically you have multiple ways to go into in, into your rank seven place, which is really cool. Next up, we have Red Eyes Wyvern, only one copy. This card is not too bad. This basically acts as a monster reborn for the deck. So so it says once per turn during your end phase, you can banish this card from your grave, target then target a Red Eyes monster in your grave, supposed to summon that target. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you activate this effect. So it's so it's as if you have what one, two. Four, five, six, 
six Monster Reborns. It's just, it's, so you basically have six Monster Reborns, which is pretty cool. Which is really cool. Rise Wyvern is, is just there as as a as as basically as basically a Monster Reborn, so so to speak. So you want to see this in your grave as much as possible. That's why you you want to try and use him to go into into your Verde Anaconda plays because that way you can trigger the effect. And just combo off like that, which is just pretty, pretty nice. I am going to be moving to another song, or actually, yeah, yeah, this song is almost over, so I might as well just choose that one. There we go. Yeah, so apparently Mifa's theme was uh, was about 30 minutes long, so I do apologize. Big shout out, no copyrights, of course. Um, but... Anyway, but anyway, but anyway, moving on, we do, ne next up we have two copies of Gear Freak, the Red Eyes Iron Knight. I know, I know that's practically the same, but once we go, once we go into the extra deck, it's going to be a, just a tad different, just a tad different, I promise. But Red Eyes Iron Knight is pretty cool, because this axe is like, this is basically Gear Freak, the Iron Knight, but on steroids. So, it reads, once per turn, if I the player... Equips an equip card or cards to this card. You can destroy those those equip cards. Then you can destroy as one spell trap your opponent controls. Once per turn, you can send send one equip card you control that is equipped to this card to the grave. So I got a level seven or lower red monster in your grave. Supposed to summon. So you have six, seven, eight. So you basically have eight monster reborns in the deck, which is absolutely insane. But not only that, you also have as well a sort of like an MST of sorts of sorts. With, in, in the form of the Red Eyes Iron Knights, which is really, really good. And also, too, it's more fodder for your for your Verde Anaconda plays. Even also your uh, even also pl your play plays for your Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Seal, which is really, really cool. Next up, we have Red Eyes Retro Dragon. This is sort of like one of the so, sort of like a hand trap of sorts, which is pretty in, which is kind of in kind of. Kind of in interesting to say the very least. If it says if a level seven or lower red eyes monster you control is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect and sent to your grave. While this card is in your hand, you can special summon this card in defense position. And if you do, special summon as many many of those destroyed monsters as possible with the same in the same position they were in when destroyed. You can tribute this card, you can normal summon. One red eyes monster during your main phase this turn, in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. So, so this basically acts as another s sort of like another monster reborn, but in, in but truly told, it's basically a soul charge. It's basically a soul charge for the deck. But the only but the only difference is that with soul charge, you have to pay life points per monster. But with this one, you do not have to pay a damn. thing. Thing, which is really, really good. And then, of course, Red Eyes Baby Dragon. This is basically, this is basically another way to go to get your, um, to get your Red Eyes monsters onto the field from from the deck, which is really cool. But what's also cool is its second effect. It says, if this card is sent to the grave while equipped to a monster, you can add a level one dragon from your deck or grave to your hand. So the only, so the only level one dragons that they have in in the deck are, are Black Metal Dragon and the Black Stone of Legend, which which those two cards just are, are are still just busted. They're still pretty pretty busted to this day. So this acts as sort of like a sort of like. It's kind of like a sage with eyes of blue, but for but for red eyes, so so to speak. And then speaking of hand traps, we have two copies of Ash Blossom and two copies of Ghost Ogre. So, sorry, Ghost Bell. Sorry, sorry. The ogre is in the is in, is actually in in the side. What's cool about about these two is that these two work hand in hand. Ash Blossom, Ash Blossom focuses on cards that are being added from the deck to the hand, summoned from the deck, or sent, or cards being sent from the deck to to the grave. While Ghost Bell is the other way around. All the way around graveyard to hand, extra deck, whatever. So, so, so Ghost Bell. So Ash Blossom focuses on cards being sent to the graveyard, while Ghost Bell focuses on cards that are being 
sent or that are coming out of, of the graveyard, which these two cards are just absolutely busted. I don't know how they're still legal in today's meta. Then of course, and then to round out the monsters, as I have mentioned, we have the two black black metal dragons and then the two black stone of legend to round out the to round out the monster lineup. Black metal dragon is really cool because it's basically it's ba it's basically an equip spell, so to speak. So it says target one rider's monster you control, equip this monster to equip this monster from your hand or field to that target. It gains 600 attack. If this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can add a rider's card from your deck to your hand. So what's cool about this is that is that combo this all combo this with like say red eye the say the red eyes iron knight and you instantly you instantly have have back row removal in the form of the black metal dragons which is really cool and then black soda legend basically just lets you summon red eyes from your from, from your deck right off the bat and you get to add and you can take red eyes from from your grave, shuffle it back into the deck. This card comes back to your hand, and it's an endless loop like that, which is pretty cool. Moving on, moving on into into the spells, we've got three for the for the fusion spells. We've got three three red eyes fusion, two polys, and two claw of Heramos. and I'll explain why I've got the Heramos really really soon. Then of course we've got the two. Return of, of the Dragon Lords. This card is just absolutely busted. It's a must. It, it's a protection monster reborn. I don't have to say anything else about this card. It's just that busted. Then of course we have two copies of the Black of Cards of the Red Stone. This is basically your trade in, so so to speak, but for Red Eyes. Send send a level seven Red Eyes monster from your hand to the grave. Draw two cards. Then you can send a level seven Red Eyes monster from your deck to the grave. So not only is it so not only is this a trade-in, but it's also a Fool's Burial as well. So that's actually really good. That is pretty, pretty nice, and it also helps you. It uh, it also helps you fill up the graveyard for cards like Return of of the Dragon Lords and even Monster Reborn, which I'm which I have in, in in the deck. Which you know, there's no other way to say you know say what Monster Reborn does. It just revives a monster. Plain and simple. Then of course, and then of course, to round out the spells, we've got two red eyes insight. The last version I had, I was only running one, but I decided to run two because what's cool, what's what's cool about this is that not only is this spell and trap rota, but but it also helps you fill the graveyard up with more with with more of your monsters, so you can use cards like reborn cards like. Cards like Red Eyes Wyvern, your Iron Knight, and even also your Return of the Red Eyes to summon back your Red Eyes monsters to go into your lead place, your 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 Exceeds place, depending on what you want to go for. And then of course the one copy of Call, call of Call by your plays gotta go through, so you gotta run run this card. And then for the traps, you're gonna ask yourself, why do I have this card? I'll explain the, what that card is here in just a second. First up for the traps, we got double imperm. Still, still one of the best cards in, in the format. I don't know why this card is expensive as fuck, but it is expensive as fuck. Two copies of Red Eyes Fang with Chain. This is a pro, the the wording on this is so weird, but I'll but I'll read it to you guys anyway. So it reads: Target one Red Eyes monster you control. Equip this card to it. It can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. You can send this equipped card to the grave, then target one effect monster on the field, equip that target to the monster this card was equipped to, and if you do, while a monster is equipped to it by its effect, its attack defense become, become equal to the original attack defense of the equipped monster. So, basically it's, it's so, so this trap card is basically a cyber twin dragon, but it can, but you can also but you can also switch what you know what monster it gets equipped to, or basically rather the equipped monster, if you will. So for example, so for so so for example, if you equipped this card onto let's say Red MD, and you have let's say let's say the alternative black dragon on, on the field, you can tor you can activate the effect, transfer red eyes. 
transfer the red MD, equip basically equip the red MD to to the alternative black dragon, and an alternative black dragon would just gain four four hundred attack. So it would go up to exactly 2800, which is how much attack that Red MD has, which it's not too bad, but still, still being able to make two attacks in, in a single turn, not too shabby, not too shabby. And then of course, for the one copy of Return of, of the Red Eyes, you already have multiple Reborns in the form of the Wyvern, the Red Eyes, the, the Red Eyes Retro, the Red Eyes Iron Knight, the Dragon Lords, and of course the Monster Reborn. So you only need one, one, one of this card. But it's still pretty fucking awesome. And then to round up the main deck, you're going to ask yourself, why the fuck do I have this? It's a card. It, it's a card from none other than Brothers of Legend. And it's known as Rebirth Judgment. If you guys have never seen this card before, I talked about it on, on, on the channel earlier this year. I think it was like late last year. When when Konami when Konami announced this card for the OCG, it's a continuous trap that says once per turn you can you can declare one monster type. Monsters in both great in both graveyards become that type for the rest of the turn, even if this card leaves the field. So what's cool about this is that it's basically DNA surgery, but for the graveyard. So DNA surgery. DNA Surge's effect says activate this card by declaring one monster type. All all face of monsters on the field become that type. So what's cool about this is that is that if you have if you have like say the Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword equipped onto Dark Magician, and you're and it's your opponent's turn that, and you're and you're playing against like let's say Cyber Dragon. Let's say that they activate limited removal during the damage step. You flip this, Rebirth Judgment, you declare Dragon, all monsters in both your graveyard and in your opponents become Dragons. Which, it wouldn't matter anyway, because the only monsters that are, that, because the only monsters, the, the only monsters that, that they have, they have in the main, main deck, and even in the extra inside, there are non-Dragons, are obviously your, your Dark Magician, your Summon Skull, your your two ghost sister hand traps that are that are in 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 the main red eyes dark dragoon what else what else uh number 74 master of blades number 11 big eye and number 28 titanic moth um appaloosa and verde anaconda as well as ghost ogre and nibiru those are the only monsters that are non that are non dragons so does that do, does that become a factor? No, it doesn't because because Reaper Judgment focuses on your opponent's graveyard as well. So their monsters in their graveyard would become dragons, and Red Eyes Dragon and, and the Red Eyes Sword, which has become ten times more powerful than people think. That's why I add. That's why I used. That's why I decided to add Reaper Judgment is because I wanted to use it in in combination with the Red Eyes Sword equipped with Dark Magician. That way, that way. Because that dark 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 magician's attack would become thirty five hundred just for ho holding the sword, it would gain an additional five hundred attack for each dragon on the field and in the graveyard. So, it its attack could go could potentially go up to like ten thousand twenty thousand attack depending on depending on on the board state, which is just absolutely absolutely nuts, absolutely nuts. Moving on into the side deck, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna go from link to fusion. For this one, so first up for the links, we've got the Verde and, and Anaconda. Basically, help you go 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 into your fusion plays really quickly. Not gonna say much about it. Triple Burst Dragon. This card is really cool because because its effect reads reads once per turn during the damage step when a spell or trap or monster effect is activated as a quick effect, you can negate you can negate the activation. You can negate the activation, so it's like a solemn judgment. So it's like a solemn judgment of sorts. If this card attacks a defense position monster, piercing battle damage is inflicted during your main phase. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent was special summoned, you can tribute this card, target a link to or lower monster in your grave, special summon it. Then you can special summon a level four or lower dragon from from your hand. So what's cool about this is that is that you can tribute this, r resurrect the verde and the ver, resurrect resurrect the verde and Anaconda special summon 
Special summon the Rani's Retro Dragon, Tribute, and trigger off its effect. Normal summon a card like, say, I'll say the Black, the Black, Stone, the Black Stone Legend, and you're off to the races there. And plus, Triple Burst Dragon has 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 basically the, the, the Matt Sword Beast effect, which is just really cool. Then, of course, you've got Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. This card is just absolutely nuts. I don't have to say anything else about this card. This card is a house. It's an Omni Gate. Not much else to say about it. Next up, we have the one copy of Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. This was released in Battles of Legend Armageddon, not too, I think about a little over a, a little over a year and a half ago, and then it became, and and then prior to that, it became a jump promo, which is which was pretty, which was also pretty cool. But rise, but the Dragon of Dark Steel's effect reads. Reads, you can target one of your monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. Special summon it to your zone. This card points to in defense position. But its effects are negated. Also, you cannot special summon link monsters for the rest of this turn. And the summoned monster is placed on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect once per turn. So basically, it's another way. It's basically another form of monster reborn. So you basically have like nine, nine monster reborns, so, so to speak, which is just really cool. But what's also cool about cool about this is that you're locked out of your link monsters, which you don't care about that. All you care about is going into your fusion place, going going into your Xyz place, which is where this card could can, can also come in because you can resummon, let's say, let's say the alternative black dragon, and then. And then, of course, and, and and then of course, activate a card like say mon say, I'll say Monster Reborn, resummon Red Eyes Black Dragon, overlay them into, into say, say number seventy four Master of Blades, and you're off to the races there. There are so many ways you can, there are so many different combos you can do. This deck is just absolutely insane. And then of course we've got Boral Sword Dragon. I don't know how this card cannot be banned yet, but. Still, this card is just this card is a fucking house. This card is just really, really, really good. Obviously, too, obviously, too, Boral Sword is still pretty. It's still somewhat expensive, as is as is as as is the the Axis Code Talker. So, the best all the best alternate win win condition besides Boral Sword would definitely have to be the the Mech Knight Avermax. Avermax is just is just as good as Boral Sword, to be honest. Next up, now for the Xyz monster, we got number 28, Titanic Moth. This is a card that I have in my Dark Magician deck, which you guys should definitely check out if you have not already. But the effect reads, if you control no if you control no other monsters, this card can attack directly. But when it does so using this effect, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent is cut in half. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can detach one one material from this card and inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each card in their hand. So it's like a tor so it's basically kind of like a it's kind of like a torpedo takedown of sorts, where with with torpedo takedown, tor torpedo takedown reads: target one water monster, excuse me, tar target one water, excuse monster, you control, detach the material from it, inflict four hundred damage to your opponent for each card in their hand. So basically, it's basically that, but just even better. So 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 to speak, which is really cool. Again, it can attack directly and it's a 2400 beat stick on board, so it's pretty cool. And then of course you got number eleven big eye. This card is this card is still a house. This card is a house fucking badass. It's a it's a snatch steal. It is a snatch steal. I don't have to say anything else about it. Nothing. Don't have to say anything else. And then of course number seventy four. This basically acts as a solemn judgment. That's it. It's it's basically solemn judgment. So it says when when it says when a card or effect is activated that targets this face up card as a quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, then you can destroy one card on the field. So not only can you can you solemn judgment a let's say a dark hole of sorts, but you can also but you can also MST one of your opponent's back row as well, which is just nuts. I don't I, I know I've said it before, it's, you know, the Nelson Cards knows, but this one is just good. And this was released in Number Hunters. I don't know why. I think the only other reprint it got was like Maximum Gold last year. But 
like 2020, 2021, somewhere around there. But yeah, still, this card is just really good. And then to round out the Xyz monsters, we got the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Basically, another Monster Reborn. You got 10 Monster Reborns. So you have 10, 10 Monster Reborns. You've got, you've got the, you've got the Red MD. That's one. That that's one. That's one right there. You've got two, two more in the Alternative Black Dragon. So that's three. You've got Red Eyes Wyvern. That's four. The Iron Knights. That's six. You have Retro Dragon, that's 7. That's 7. You've got Return of, of the Dragon Lords, that's 8, 9. Return of the Rise is 10. And then, of course, Monster Reborn is 11. Plus, you've got the Dragon of Dark Steel, that's 12. You have 12 Monster Reborns, including this one, that's 13. You have 13 Monster Reborns, and you're going to be using them over and over and over again. It's as if you're going to be able to make a board where you, your opponent won't be able to play any form of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is really insane. Really good. And, and not only that, Flare Metal Dragon also has, has, has another effect where it says, where it says, cannot be destroyed by card effects while it has Xyz material. While, while this card has Xyz material, each time your opponent activates a card or effect, inflict 500 damage to your opponent immediately after it resolves. So, you're, it's basically a, what is it, Dark Room of Nightmare? Dark Room of Nightmare, if I remember? No, I want to say... What, oh, what's that one? Um... Oh, what's that one card? I, I can't think of it. Um... I cannot, I cannot think of it to, for, uh, for, I don't know, what the hell, I can't, I, I can't think, think of it, I don't remember the card, um, there was a card that, ba that basically in inflicted damage to your opponent each, each time you, you, uh, you, you would do anything, so I don't remember the card, but, yeah, basically that's what it does, which is really cool, and then for the fusions, we got the two, the two red eye swords, this card is just a house. It says, must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos using a dragon monster. If this card is special summoned, target one other face of a monster on the field, equip this card to it. It gains 1,000 attack and 500 attack and defense for each dragon monster on the field and in the grave, and, and in the graveyards. So not only, so it gains 500 attack and defense for each card that's in, that's on the field and in both graveyards, plus it gains an additional 1,000 just for holding it, which is just really cool. Not too shabby. Combo it off with Rebirth Judgment. You got a beast. You got a big ass sword right there. And then of course we got the Red Eyes Slash Dragon. Only only one copy. This card is really cool because it says when when a Red Eyes monster declares an attack, you can target one Warrior monster in your grave. Equip this card to it as an equip spell that gives the card 200 attack. When a when a card or effect is activated that targets a card you control as a quick effect, you can send one equipped card you control to the grave. Negate the activation and, and and if you do destroy that card, if this card is destroyed by battle card effect, you can special summon as many monsters from your grave as possible that were equipped to this card. So basically, 14, 14 monster reborns. Yeah, bas yeah, it's bas yeah, 14 mo 14 monster reborns, which is just absolutely insane. But what's also but what's but what sucks about this card is says it says when a lot of the a lot of all three effects say when, so that means so you so you know that it's going to miss timing. So you have to, so you have to time it perfectly. Otherwise, they the the effects will be negated. And then of course we've got the starving venom few the, the starving venom fusion dragon. I was I'm actually tempted to take one to take a card from the side and actually put. In super poly because this is actually a super poly target so I'm actually gonna do that right now there we go so I did so I actually had uh, had the Harpy's feather duster in, in in the side but I decided to put in the super poly because because the starving venom can actually be can actually be a super poly target which is really cool um hang on guys something happened here I'm logged out logged out damn it damn
There we go. There we go. So, 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 Sargon Venom Fusion Dragon is still one of the best cards in, in the format. I don't have, you guys know what the card does. It's self-explanatory, don't have to explain it. Then, of course, we've got the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, another card that's self-explanatory, don't have to say anything. And then, of course, Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. This card is a fucking house. This is probably the biggest beater that I, ha that, that, that I have in, in the whole deck. So what's cool about this is that you can only special summon. Is it's 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 a fact. It reads you can only special summon Archfiend Black Skull Dragon or Dragons once per turn. If this card battles your opponent's, your your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. If damage calculation is performed and following this fusion summon card at the end of the battle phase, you can target a Red Eyes Normal Monster in your grave, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack in the grave, then shuffle it into the deck. So, so. Basically, it's another way to deal your opponent a, an extreme amount of damage, which is just absolute insanity. So, that's it for, for, for the extra deck. Moving on into the side deck, though. This is my preference. You guys could you, you could put in whatever you want uh, in, in your side deck. But, my preference is 2 Nibiru and 2 Ghost Ogre for the monsters. Because, obviously, Ghost... Obviously, Ghost Ogre, Ghost Bell, and Ash Blossom work so well together, which is just absolutely insane. As I said before, Ash Blossom focuses on cards that are being sent, that are being sent to the graver or being summoned from from the deck. Ghost Bell is basically is basically a reverse Ash Blossom, and then Ghost Ogre focuses on cards that were already on the field. So with these three together, it's as if your opponent cannot play any form of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is pretty cool. And then Nibiru is just basically Dark Hole. Four is it, just ba basically Dark Hole, which is r really cool, but in the form of a monster, which is really, which is just absolutely insane. Then, of course, we got two copies of, Co of Cosmic Cyclone and two Twin Twister, as well as the one, the one Super Poly. Co the the two Cyclones and the two Twins are basically just there to help you remove more back row, so your opponent won't be able to play any, any form of Yu-Gi-Oh right just right off the bat. And then, of course, Super Poly. If, if you're going up against against a dark a dark base deck, s the the starving venom will really come in clutch there. And then to round out the the side deck for the traps, we got two copies of Zing Zang Hu, another card. It's it's an old school card, but this card is so so good. You you just target two set spell or trap cards. They cannot be used. The selected cards cannot be activated, which is just absolutely insane. You can use this on your opponent's back row, and it could be, it could be two two big, big cards. It could be evenly matched, and let's say there can be only one, or it could be a solemn judgment, or a let's say, a imperm, and they won't be activated, which is really cool. And then to round out the traps, we got the two solemn strikes and the two solemn warnings. So. My thoughts on, on this deck, this deck is just absolutely nuts. It is a house. I do have a Dark World deck ready to go, but I'm still working on it. I think I need to make a couple of a couple of adjustments to the deck. Once I get, get that deck done, I will show it off on, on the channel. And I'll post, and uh, since I know I'm not going to be able to get get uh, some of, of the cards, I'll have to do it via, via Nexus. So big shout outs to the... To the designers of of Yu-Gi-Oh Nexus, big shout outs to them. No copyrights, of course. Um, but I'll, I'll I'll be posting the deck list on my Instagram, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description. And that will do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys want to see more deck profiles in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be down in the description below. And if you guys have any family you want to send me and you want guys want me to open up, open it up on the channel, my address will also be in the description as well. You can send it through there. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.